Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to search and update a work item in TFS 2015 using Web Access. The same thing you can do using Visual Studio, but this video is uh, by using Web Access method. There are multiple ways that you can uh, search your work item and then update um, the work item. Uh, number one, using new query and put your filters. I'll show you in a second that how to do that. And number two, we have um, in 2015 work item quick search uh, based on like there are limited columns uh, like assigned to um, the state of the work item. Uh, you can quickly search that uh, in that, um, you know, quick search area. And also you can search by name of the work item um, and all the work items will appear. For example, if the work item type is bug, you can uh, click on bug and based on, um, you know, your criteria, all the bug work items will appear and you can scroll through it um, and choose that method. But uh, you can also use the new query and filters uh, to quickly get to where you want it to be. So um, here's my browser and I'm connected with uh, my team foundation server TFS uh, web access. This is how it looks like. So the first thing that I was talking about quick search right here is quick search. If you click on here, it'll show you that uh, add a search filter. If you wanted to add a search filter, you can add it, but by default it's assigned to created by state uh, work item type. For example, if I wanted to search work item type uh, um, task, I'll click on that and and it'll appear just like this. So all the work item name tasks that um, is going to show me. As you can see right here, there are three work items that uh, came as a result. Um, this is just a demo in complex environment. You will have a lot more uh, work items. Maybe uh, some of them are tasks. So you can search uh, like this. The other way you can search is just assigned to me right here, uh, whatever is assigned to you. So if you click that, this these are the work items that you notice that one is not there now there are only two tasks that is assigned to me as a um if for example i'm dba and i need to create a new database uh, that is assigned to me so i just click on a quick search right here assigned to me and uh, the work item will appear you can also use these criteria right here unsaved uh, work item and um and uh also click uh, click on new query new query means that when you click on new query you um you provide your search criteria right here these are the filters you can add a new class for for example the field is a team project uh, and uh, by default it's a work item type um and state is right here if you wanted to add new clause you can click on and and then click on drop down menu and it'll appear right here that uh uh, whether it's a you can do uh, choose by the state who closed it um, and created by description there are so many filters here that you can choose to um, uh, search your work item so I'm gonna close this and I will right here I'll say that okay work item type and I want to say equal to and not any I might want it to do just the task And now in order to run my query, I can save this query too, because next time I don't have to create a new query, it'll be saved in my queries, uh, but you can also share your queries with other folks too. So click on run right here, run query. And based on the search, you will see that uh, all the work items uh, that are uh, type task, they appear right here. And now once you uh, search your work item, it's much easy uh, easier to uh, uh, update your work item all you need to do is either double click on that item and it, it'll appear right here this is the workflow right here and you can change change the work item priority like for example it was higher priority or it it was lower priority and you wanted to change the priority to high priority you can do that um, and you can also look at the state uh, for example is if uh, DBA is working on it from to do you can change it to in progress so you can change all these uh, um, uh, columns rows right here uh, and you can add more columns to it uh, also and once you're done you can you click here to save so once once it's saved you will notice right here the workflow is changed new task and it was from to to do 
and went in progress. Maybe a DBA is picked up this task and they are working on creating the new database. Basically, this is how you search your work item using web access and uh, update your work item. And I hope this video helps.